Good evening. In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortions. The court said in a 7-2 decision that in the first three months of pregnancy, only the woman and her physician may decide whether she may have an abortion. Um, I liked Roe v. Wade. I thought it was, you know, definitely thought-provoking. Uh, it definitely, like, kind of, like, laid out two perspectives on the issue in a way that, like, was... What, like made you think like as somebody who considers myself like progressive like pro choice and like firmly so it def definitely made me think and made me be like oh i didn't think about it like that and i also i had never seen like pictures of an abortion before and like that was i was not ready for that uh, so definitely made you think and um uh, that's what film is for so overall good job This film is called Roe v. Wade, A Nation Divided. This was a short from the U.S. about a number of issues in the news lately, notably the lead up to the U.S. Supreme Court decision to end Roe v. Wade, a decision initially made in 1973, a 73 when Walter Cronkite was on a black and white TV. Lots of interviews and videos of those on both sides of the abortion debate, in courtrooms, in researchers' offices, and on the streets. There was indeed lots of imagery that the opening warning mentioned, lots of use of CGI too, and some animation about birth control. The film notes by the end that it remains to be seen what will happen in the States over time. Interesting, controversial film. This was a really well-constructed and succinct documentary uh, showing us both sides of uh, the Roe v. Wade argument um, and including stats. Um, I think it did a great job at uh, presenting uh, both sides, uh, giving us the, the history and the current climate um, and really um, driving home some facts there. Um, which are not easy. This wasn't easy to watch, and I don't think it should be easy to watch. Um, it's a difficult topic. I don't uh, have any more answers than I did before watching this piece, but um, that's also not for me to answer. But um, I'm glad this piece exists because it is a uh, topic that is needs to be discussed is worth discussing and uh the more attention drawn to it the uh, better for all if a piece like this can um help someone engage in uh you know thoughtful and uh calm discourse without all the uh you know the name calling and all the other stuff that unfortunately comes along with this sort of uh really divisive uh, arguments then for that reason i'm glad this piece exists because again it's 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 succinct um you can you can sit down uh in front of it with uh maybe someone with a difference of opinion and, and watch it and then it hopefully will lead to a more civil discourse at least that's my hope but that aside it was really thoughtfully constructed uh, uh good editing even even the music choice and it all worked really well together and makes a strong um, argument and showing us both sides. So great work. Roe v. Wade, A Nation Divided, um, surveys a huge sort of range of issues that are all connected to abortion. Um, it tries to find sort of connections and nuances within these various sort of branching issues, which, is, which I certainly think is a commendable goal. Um, you know, plus I don't quite agree with the slant that it takes on those issues, but then again, that just sort of speaks to you know, the title itself and the idea that these are complex issues and many perspectives that you know can divide people. Um, I certainly think it's um, effective in its sort of probing uh, approach and its ability to sort of elicit reactions, quite strong reactions, which I think is a great way of sort of you know, fostering more um, debates and more explanation of these issues, which I think is you know, commendable. This film was very careful to show both sides of the argument when it comes to Roe v. Wade because it is controversial, we all have different opinions. I think the only part it left out is it's a fight between women versus women. But other than that, it shows both. It shows the graphic side of 
why abortion should be a very rare procedure and why women should choose birth control instead. But it also showed the other side with women being afraid if they don't have access to it. But it did make the clear thing that it being overturned, it's simply returning it back to the states. Um, but to decide, um, I appreciated that it showed the graphic images of what an abortion looks like. It showed what the procedure looks like. It's something that I think should be shown more widely. So um, the decision is a more educated one. But I think this film was well done because it did show both sides of the argument. Both the pro-life side and the pro-abortion side. It's one of those where it shows both of them and it even put the statistics about rape, incest, and the life of the mother at the end. So it's one that was very well put together through the stock footage, the news footage, and everything else that we need in a short little film. But it does show at the end that this is a nation that's divided because there are individuals who think the baby deserves to die because of a choice someone else, the mother made. The fact that one woman said up until two years old is horrifying. Then there's the other side where they're afraid because they don't feel like they're prepared to become a mother. So really the theme of the film is maybe bring sources to make women a little more secure in knowing that they can do it. They can be moms. They can do what they need to do to feel prepared for motherhood. That way that fear isn't there anymore. The original surrogates one time at one point said, if we convince man to let us murder our young, then the men have won. So it's really, this did calculate how divided the nation is in a short time on one pivotal issue. And in the end, the historians will determine who was right and who was wrong.